everybody, it's Gail, the Happy Stamper from thehappystamper.com. Thank you for stopping by today. I am so excited to share this card with you. This was one of my beautiful swap cards that my Stampaholic, the big group that I'm a part of with my upline, this was one of two of my swap cards. And I think it's so beautiful. I think it's so elegant. I just... It makes me speechless. <laughs> but I want to show you how easy it is to put this together and how quickly it can come together. So it's got a little bit of bling. It just says snow and winter and it's just such a peaceful looking card. I love it. And oops, I don't know what just fell, but I think this is going to be our family Christmas card this year. Um, so we'll see. Wish me luck. But let me show you what I have used to create this project. All right, starting first with the Christmas Pines stamp set, and this is fabulous. Oh my gosh, it has pine cones and snow. I love tidings of comfort and joy. That's a wonderful sentiment. There's many of them in here. And I really like sets that do that. It also comes as a bundle, so as many of you already know, you get 10% off. But I use today for this card this die. And there's several other ones, so you can really make some beautiful, very realistic looking uh, pine cones. And the branches, the tree branches here, the pine branches, I have seen some beautiful cards that it looks so real, you guys. I swear you would think you'd want to touch it. And all they did was fluff it and things. So this really tickles me. I have had a lot of fun playing with it. I think it's a terrific bundle. You can find these in our holiday catalog. And the set there's some examples here and it also comes with this really great presents and pine cones designer series paper that you can purchase um, it doesn't come with it but it's what is featured in that suite uh, so you can find that on page 19 of the holiday catalog and then i also wanted to show you that on page 20 you can find the ribbon up here this is the ribbon that I have used to make my bow, and I have gone through this. This is my third spool of it, and I went through the green too. Um, but that's what I use to make my bow, and it's actually cherry cobbler, which is also the color of my cardstock. So this comes in a two-pack in the catalog, and it comes with a roll of emerald green envy and cherry cobbler. So that's where I got this from if you're interested in duplicating it. So now I've got schmug on my hands because I wrote on it and my marker wasn't dry. But that's okay because I'm used to having inky fingers. <laughs> Let me just get a little white bear and clean it off and we'll get started. So as I mentioned, I am using Cherry Cobbler cardstock and our Whisper White. Uh, this is a, st oh, and I'm also using Garden Green. And we're going to be using Versamark because this is going to be embossed. So this was a sheet of 8.5 by 11 Cherry Cobbler cardstock that I have cut at 5.5 and, and then I scored it for and a quarter and then I fold it in half like so. So that makes our next piece, which is five and a quarter by four. And this is what we're going to stamp our image on right here. And we're also going to do some embossing. So let's start with our, um, hmm. I think I'll start with, I guess I should emboss it first. Yeah, let's do that. All right, so I'm going to come in with Versamark for this project and our Bossing Buddy. This little powdery thing has just that. It's I don't know if it's cornstarch or 
what kind of powder in it, but it removes the elasticity in the, the stamp, and so it makes it really nice for not getting little schmugs everywhere of embossing powder. And I am using our gold embossing powder. So let's just get this nice and gunkied up, if you know what I mean by gunky. This is like glue in an ink pad, essentially. And I keep mine stored upside down. And I am going to place my Noel right about here, just like so. And another tip I have for you, if you have one of our mats, be careful if you are heat embossing over it. I warped one a while ago and it didn't even occur to me that the heat tool would do that. So just a little FYI. Okay, I'm gonna come in with just a piece of copy paper and my gold embossing powder. I see just a little schmug that I must have picked up with the brick or my block brick. Um, so I just kind of covered that with my finger. I'm gonna give it a little bit more. Looks a little light to me. I'm gonna even give it a little push. Why does it look so light? Hmm. Well, I don't know. Well, now it looks better. What was all that about? I don't know. Okay, sorry. And I'm gonna set this over here, pour it back in my little jar. It seems like you use a lot, but you really don't, not when you go back and put it back. Okay. We're going to heat up our heat tool. This is an old one. I've had this forever. Forever. And just let it get nice and hot. I don't know why that looked so funny. You know, it didn't look like it was um, taking to it for some reason. I don't know. I like to do both sides and I hope it'll show up on camera as it changes to literally it's like a plastic. Awesome, awesome, awesome. All right, let's come in. We're going to use our garden green. There's a couple of different leaf images that are in the stamp set. I'm using this one. If you can see it, you'll see it in just a minute. It is a bigger stamp set, so I am going to ink this upside down and I'm going to wipe off around it because this is a brand new ink pad and I don't want to ruin it. And that has happened. I have done that by pressing too hard, so I'm going to try to be really careful with this. So I am going to start off my page. Make sure you have a scrap piece of paper underneath it. You don't want to ruin your uh, mat. And I'm going to do this like so. I'm going to give it another press. Make sure I didn't get any on my um, let's see. Okay, then we'll come in and do another one. 
so I did three of these. And it looks a lot darker because it um, has Um, this is a new set start. Sorry. I'm in the middle of house cleaning today and then I'm like, you know what? I'm going to just go film this video. <laughs> I thought I put all the cleaning stuff down. It's got to sit and soak anyways for, you know, 10 minutes or so. So I thought, perfect. I'll come down here and do this because I was so excited to share it with you. Okay. So I have already gone ahead and I die cut my little um, I almost called it a pineapple, but it's a pine cone, not a pineapple. And I'm looking for my pop dots, which are right here. We'll put a couple of those on this. I just love this card. Love, love, seriously, and I know I say that, but this is so our family. And I just think it's beautiful. So I'm going to have it hang right about there from my... Pine cone, and then I am going to. I've already gone ahead and I got some little gold gems, and this comes from our gold. Um, what do they call this? Sequins. I don't know why I couldn't remember that, but it's on a roll. So I just plucked a few off, and that's. I keep them in this little jar. You know what, that looks like a silver one from another project. So we're going to just I'll put one, two, three. And they're flat, so I really like that because then it doesn't affect mailing. Sometimes, you know, the little cup sequins um, can do that. Okay, so I'm just using my glue dots and I'm going to apply one here. Uh, let's put one about here. Where did they at? Oh, <laughs> they're right back here. That's funny. One here. Uh, let's do one. There. Whoop! I'm going fishing with my glue dot. Ta da! And one here. Okay, I'm going to close this up so I don't drop anything in it. All right, let's adhere our focal image to the front of our card. This is really easy, very quick, didn't take but much time at all. And I like to press on it from the back side, like so. Oh, it's so pretty, you guys. All right, I've gone ahead and I have already uh, tied my bow, so I am just going to apply a glue dot, and there you have it. There you have it. Oh my goodness.